Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my August favorites and fails. And I'm gonna be a little cliche here and say, wow, August went by really quickly. I don't know if it's just because it was my birthday month or what, but I'm just like, where did it go? I feel like 2020 is going by really slowly, but August for some reason just like, it's just a skip right on by. <laughs> but in all fairness, there was a lot of things going on. My birthday, my tiny marbles palette. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who has been supporting this palette and just watching me in general. I really appreciate you guys. And this is definitely in my favorites for the month. How could it not be? And uh, if you want to see this look, I will link it down below because I have already filmed it. So let's start off with this. This is definitely my first and absolute favorite favorite of the month. I just can't believe it finally came. I know I'll let you guys know this is supposed to come out sooner in the year, but it was kind of perfect how it happened with it being my birthday month as well as Heather's birthday month from Sydney Grace. I just... It's, it was perfect, it was perfect, and I appreciate all of you and all the looks that I'm seeing, it's just amazing. But this palette truly is just everything that I really wanted to create, and I couldn't have asked for a better brand to work with. They truly have made my dream come true with this palette. So a huge thank you to Sydney Grace and Pat Bennett for creating this beautiful artwork. In case you didn't know, Pat is my tattoo artist. And I mean, these colors, nobody could have done this but Sydney Grace. I mm, They took my dream, my inspiration, and just made it a reality. And I just love it. A little shameless self-plug here. I just, I couldn't not talk about my palette. Is <laughs> the best thing for me for the month of August. All right, let's move on to some other palettes because there's definitely a lot of eye products that I have tried out this month and there has been some good ones. The next one I wanna talk about is something that's a little softer. Busy Art recently released two palettes, Solstice and Midsummer. This one though, this one has my heart. I think it is so beautiful. And I just, I live for it. These are my colors. It is a cool, neutral lover's dream. And it's, they just are, they work so perfectly. The mattes in here are absolutely stunning. They blend themselves out. And uh, I just love the color combinations. I feel like on camera, you truly can't see the actual depth of the colors because on camera and in picture, sometimes it just looks a little washed out, but I'm telling you in person, this is a whole nother ball game. Such a gorgeous palette, such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. The next favorites for the eyes comes from Natasha Denona, and I do have a giveaway running for this, so if you missed it, make sure you check it out. It's in my review for these. These are the Chromium Liquid Shadows, and they are multi-chrome liquid shadows. They are stunning. They last so beautifully on my eyes. They apply really well. My two favorite shades are Infra Nude and Scarab. So those are the ones that I am going to show you. And when you pair them together using Scarab and Infra Nude, I, I want to say infrared, <laughs> they create the most beautiful effect on the eyes. Let me swatch these for you. So I'm having a little issue with my hands right now. So... This is a little sore. Here is Scarab. Let's see, see this? Ah, oh, this, I could add this to my eye right now and make it just like a little bit more bumped up and it would go perfectly. But you see that gold, blue, and green shift? Stunning. And these have like this really nice gel-like texture to them. They're very, very smooth. And then this one's my all-time favorite. Out of all of them, this is the one that I know I'm gonna use the most. It's a little softer, but it's just like incredible. It is absolutely incredible. This is Infra Nude. <laughs> Let's see, let me get it on here. There we go. Can you guys see that? Oh, I love these. They're so beautiful. Again, I tried a lot of lip products this month, but I have a few that stood out. First, these from Fenty Beauty. These are the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balms. I love all three of these shades. There is one more in case that you want something that is more on the sheer 
clear side, but I like the ones with the pigment to them. But my favorite, my absolute favorite out of the bunch is Coco Drizzle. It is just the perfect neutral brown, especially blended out. I, I love the way that this looks on my lips. It complements my the pink in my lips and just, it's so, so pretty. I love to wear this just with a nude liner around the lips and then add this on or by itself. They're beautiful. Let me go ahead and show you the other shades. My second favorite being Latte Lips. This one right here. See that? And then the last one is Pinch Me. This one is more pink. So there's all three. Again, this one's my favorite, second favorite, and still a favorite. Like I like all of them. They feel very comfortable on the lips. They don't feel heavy. They give just the perfect amount of color so that it looks like you have something on, but it's very effortless and natural. Plus I am going hard for the lip balms lately. It's just something that I am really into. And speaking of which, this new product from Pat McGrath, the Divinal Lip Shines, I, I want more nudes. I honestly want more nudes because that is what I wear on a daily basis. And Nude Venus is stunning, but this formula is what I really, really enjoy. And the packaging. I love the pink metallic with the gold. It's very just nice to look at. And then again, this is Nude Venus. It's nude, but it has a peachiness to it. It looks gorgeous with Wayne Gass's Vintage Pink. Oh, that, the liner. Oh, look at that shine too. And they last really nicely on the lips. Now, if you eat, it's gonna come off, but it, they do. They last very, very nicely. A new brush brand that I tried out this month that I see going places, because these are natural hair brushes. They are quality and they aren't going to absolutely break your bank. Bristles Beauty, they sent these over to me. I and immediately, I looked at them and I was like, oh, I love the color. Like, there's something about this bamboo color handle that I really, really like with the silver ferrule and then the white bristles. They're just aesthetically pleasing, but then I'm taking them out of the package and I'm like, Oh, these are soft. I'm like, oh, these are good. And I immediately got excited about them. And then I used them. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. These were sent to me, like I said, but I have purchased <laughs> several of my favorites from the line. Now, this is the entire set. You have a blush or contour brush. This one as well can be, I'm sorry, my hand just bothered me. This one as well can be blush or contour. You have oh, this one right here. This is the EO2RL. I purchased several more of these because I keep washing these. And I'm like, I keep wanting to reach for it along with another one. So I purchased several more of that brush, which is great for the crease. It is great for the transition area to add a little definition on the outer corner. Yeah, gorgeous brush. And then this one, out of all of them, this one is my absolute favorite. This is the PO6 RF. I didn't know I needed this brush this much until I had it in my collection. This is another one that I went and I just was like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, because I love this. This is so nice for the lower lash line, for the brow arch, for the inner corner. And I love this for doing the, like I've been doing this a lot recently, adding a little bit of shadow to create a liner on the outer corner. Now today I used a different brush. I wanted to use this one so bad, but I was like, don't get it dirty right before you do your favorites. This is amazing. It's just something about how thin it is, the shape of it. It's like square, but still slightly rounded. It's just perfection, and I just love it for creating that lifted liner, smoked out kind of shadow effect. It is beautiful. And then you have an amazing pencil brush. It's the perfect size, great for the lower lash line. This one right here, if you have a hooded eye or just a smaller eye in general, really great to get into the crease, really great on the lower lash line. It's perfection. And then you have a teeny tiny liner brush and this gets really really close to the lash line so these if you have not checked them out i definitely suggest it i've washed these so many times they're not falling apart they're not 
losing their shape or anything. These are definitely a new staple for me. The next few items are not makeup items, but they are definitely favorites for the month. And the first thing is a necklace. If you've been watching me, <laughs> you've seen me wear this necklace just about every day. I was going to put it on today, but I was like, you're not even going to see it with this shirt. This is from Dow and Hawk. I just want to say Tao. It's so engraved in my brain to say Tao Hawk, but it's Dow and Hawk. This is a tiny little necklace, and you see it has a beautiful reflection to it. It's so delicate. They initially sent me one, and then I bought three more because <laughs> I don't want to be without it. I did accidentally break one, and that is why I bought more. <laughs> After you break one, it's like, uh, what if this happens again? And it's not that this is, you know, bad quality or anything like that. I got it snagged on something, and it was fixable, but I just... I had to have backups of a necklace. I know that might be a little silly, but I just love this. And I don't even want to take it off when I'm going in the pool. And this has been in the pool. It's been in the lake. And it's just, it's beautiful. It has these tiny little hearts all over it. And they're really sweet. They sent me a bracelet as well. Unfortunately for me, my wrists, let me show you on this side. My hand is, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I'm a little bruised and swollen. My wrists are teeny, teeny, tiny, so I can't wear the bracelet. I think I'm going to try and like take a few of the little hearts out so that I can. But then the really cool thing about having the bracelet is that you can wear it as an extender if you want this to be like a little bit longer. But yeah, I love this necklace. The next product is a pillow. <laughs> funny that I'm talking about a pillow because I am somebody who I don't change my sleep patterns at all meaning like I have certain things that I absolutely have to have have to have my lip balm I have to have my earplugs my body pillow just like all these things recently I got into silk pillowcases I found one for my body pillow and I have been sleeping with a body pillow and a feather pillow as well for I mean ever since I was a kid I, I so a lot of years <laughs> and I have heard really great things about this pillow I saw Dr. Dre talking about it and I was very curious and then I got an email about it so they sent this over to me and it's from Sleep and Glow I'm going to be reading from this ginormous box because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the right information. Now, it does come with a cover. However, my cover is in the wash, and it is a silk cover. But let me show you this. I can't squeeze with this hand, but do you see this? Oh, my goodness. It is so comfortable. And what is so magical about this is the shape of it. Now, you'll see there's like these little divots that are on both sides. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> on both sides. And it has like these two levels. So there's it's flat here. It goes down a dip and then another dip. And your face just lays in there perfectly. And it's not going to scrunch up your face. So when you're sleeping, you're smashing your face. You can create wrinkles that way, which I just I don't know. I never really fell for that. But then the more research I was doing with it and the pictures I was seeing, I was like, well, it kind of makes sense. So I got really interested in this pillow and I didn't know if I was going to like it or not because I'm so used to how I sleep. But from the very first night, I ditched my body pillow and my feather down pillow. <laughs> and I only use this. And then I just put another just small pillow in between my knees because I have bad knees. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> but this right here is so comfortable. And like I said, it does have a silk cover. It's just being washed right now. And I use the slip wash to wash it. But let me tell you a little bit about like what the pillow was made out of and stuff. It's an anti-aging pillow. It fights against sleep wrinkles, morning puffiness, and marks caused by contact with a regular pillow. It's made of memory foam and it adjusts to your face shape. And also you can see all of the other things that I have added with the picture here. It's really a nice pillow. I've been using it for a little over a month now and I'm telling you, I'm not going back. <laughs> I am not going back to my body pillow and my regular pillow because this is just so much better. I thought it would be hard to get used to, 
but it's not. It's just really, really comfortable. So I wanted to mention that in my favorites because it's definitely something that I would recommend and something that I've absolutely been loving. Next up, I have a pair of shoes. Now, it's like, I don't know. I feel a little weird sometimes about putting high ticketed, like really high ticketed items in things that I talk about online. I don't mind showing pictures or whatever on my Instagram, but sometimes I feel a little strange. I don't like to come off as flashy or anything like that, but so I hope it doesn't. It's just, I really enjoy these shoes and I really want to show them to you. It's something that I bought for my birthday and they are incredible. It's funny because when I went to the store, I thought, you know, they showed me these shoes and I love Valentino, but sometimes some of them can be a little too fancy for me. Like I'm a little in between. Like I like a little bit of rock star and elegance. And these, I, I almost didn't try them on. I almost didn't try them on. I had all these shoes out and I was like looking at everything. And then I was like, all right, I'll try these. Can we just, can we just talk about, these are beautiful, beautiful. This fishnet effect on the bottom part of the toe is incredible, but that is kind of what made me think, like, is it going to be too much? You know, I have tattoos on my foot and, you know, my whole vibe or whatever. I just didn't know if it was going to go with me, but then when I put them on, they look stunning, but like with edge to them. I wore, I took, I took off the shoes that I was wearing on my birthday and then put these on and wore them for the rest of the day. And I had no issues with them at all. They are comfortable. I know that's something that people say like, oh, they're comfortable. But no, these actually did not bother my feet. I have a very high arch. I have a narrow foot. And sometimes these can like the heels, especially down at the bottom, they can hurt my foot. And this one didn't. I wore it for a long time. And I just think that they are absolutely gorgeous. I think they are some of the prettiest that Valentino has done. So I just, just want to show them to you guys. I really like them. Again, I got them for my birthday and I love them. All right, now we're moving on to the fails category. For the fails, I wouldn't say that either of these are absolute fails. They're just kind of disappointing. The first one is like a favor and a fail. I'll, I'll explain. It is the makeup eraser sponge. The sponge in of itself, I love. The shape of it is really nice. You have this flat edge right here, like this angle right here. And then the rest of it is like just a regular sponge. And then the bottom is flat. That took me a little bit to get used to because it's just, I'm not used to having something so flat on the bottom. And yes, this is dirty because I've been using it. <sighs> the sponge is amazing. The texture is amazing. It's so soft. It washes out really well, but only if you, <laughs> you wash it how you traditionally would because it comes with this little ball that I cannot find to save my life. I can't find it. It is somewhere in this house. I don't know where, but I talked about this and I showed you what happened <laughs> when I used <laughs> I washed it in the ball. A, it does not get all the product out of the sponge. It just doesn't. It didn't get any makeup on my clothes or anything like that, but it didn't get all the product out of the sponge. And then I put it in the dryer and this collected so much lint. I was taking a lint roller to the sponge <laughs> to get the lint off of it. It was funny. Like I said, if you want to see what happened with this, uh, just check out my last Get Ready With Me trying out new products. I'll link that down below as well. It's funny. So the whole thing, like with the ball and being able to wash it and dry it, that is a fail. And just that's a fail. So I would rather spend a little less, not have the ball and just pay for the sponge because I think the sponge is really nice, but just wash it by hand. You'll be way better off. So favorite and a fail at the same time. Lastly, we have another eyeshadow palette. And unfortunately, this one, this one kind of broke my heart a little bit because I think it's so pretty to look at and I really had high hopes for it, but I feel like the pigmentation is just a little lackluster. If you're darker than me, it's likely not going to show up on you. And I felt like the metallics, you can build them up or use them wet, but it's just, I felt like it's a little lackluster and it's from Juvia's place. 
I have a review on all three of these palettes, but this one, I like the look that I got out of it, but honestly, I felt like the liner that I put on with it is what really saved it. It was a beautiful, soft look, but when you look at the palette, this is called the Topes palette, you just would expect a little bit more out of it. I really thought that these metallics were going to be more intense. I used this one wet and I kept having to layer it and layer it and layer it. I used this one dry. I layered that quite a bit. I know you guys don't see the full amount of layering that I had to do in the video, but I did have to layer this shade. And then these three, I love this shade, but it's just like you don't see the distinction that you see in the palette. Like when I look at this palette, I see all six different colors and I think that you could create so many different looks, but then when you use it, it's just not up to what I consider to be Juvia's Place's standards. I feel like Juvia's Place is so great. I love their shadows. They were very kind to send this one to me, but this one was just it's just, it missed the mark. I wish that it was more pigmented. The other palettes had pressed pigments in there, and this one is the only one that was strictly eyeshadow. So I feel like maybe if they had made this one a pressed pigment palette as well, or at least put some pigments in it, then maybe it would have been a little bit more effective. Again, if you like something that's softer, it's going to be a pretty palette, but just don't expect it to pack a punch. It, it's just a little lackluster and I hate to say that, but it is what it is. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Oh yeah, and let me know what you've been loving and not loving during the month of August. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.